Today I'll be showing you my main and goals for Keeping at Home 2020. Keeping at Home 2020 is an unofficial online competition hosted by Keeping USA, mainly for those who got their competitions canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So there are going to be nine events, but I'm only competing in eight of them. The events are 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, one-handed, pyramid, blindfolded, skew, and square one. Since I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded, I'm not going to be doing 3x3 blindfolded. I'm only competing in 8 of them. And there is absolutely no need for any backup cubes, so I'm just going to be showing you my main cube. With that being said, let's start my mains and goals for 2x2. For 2x2, my main is the MGC 2x2. It's a really good 2x2. It's a budget 2x2 and it's really good. My goals for 2x2 are to get at least a sub 3 single with a, a sub 4 average. I'm starting to average sub 4 on 2x2, so I hope I uh, get a sub 4 average in 2x2. And I'm getting a decent amount of sub 3 singles, so I hope to get a sub 3 single in 2x2 at the unofficial competition. For 3x3, my main is the D54M. It's really good, a $40 magnetic 3x3. So my goals for 3x3 are to get at least a sub 10 single with a uh, sub uh, 11 average. I'm getting pretty fast in 3x3. I'm getting a decent amount of sub 10 singles and I'm getting a decent amount of sub 11 average. So I hope to get both of those at the unofficial competition. For 4x4, my main is the... Little Magic 4x4, which is an awesome 4x4 in my opinion, it's only $15. So my goals for 4x4 are to get a sub PB single with a sub PB average. So my PB single on 4x4 is a 34.24 and for average it's a 40.55. So I hope to beat those at Keep Me At Home 2020. And if I'm really lucky, I, I'll be aiming for a sub-40 sing, uh, sub-40 average. For 5x5, five five, I'm going to be using the Yuzhen Cloud. A $9 5x5. Five five. So my goals for 5x5 five five are to get uh, a sub-PB single with a sub-PB average. I broke both my PBs, my single and my average, at West Valley Winter. So, for Keep Me At Home, I hope to beat those times. For one-handed, I'm going to be using the 354. Once again, it's the smallest 3x3 three three in my collection. And it's good for one-handed, despite it has pretty strong magnets. So, my goals for one-handed are to get... Uh, at least a sub-20 single with a sub-25 average. So my PB single is about a 19 and my uh, PB average is like a 24. So I hope to beat those. For pyramids, I'm going to be using the Z-Magnetic Pyramid, which is a $10 pyramid, a magnetic one. Many people haven't heard of this. But I've heard of it, so I decided to get it, and it's really good. I haven't uh, practiced pyramids in a while, so my goals for pyramids are to get a sub PB single with a sub PB average. So my PB single is a 2.39, and for average, it's like a 4.64. So I hope to beat those. And once I started getting back into pyramids, I actually got pretty fast. So I hope to beat those PB times at Keeping At Home. For Skew, I'm going to be using this Moe Skew. It's the only Skew with, that I own. And it's not too bad, nor too good. It's an okay Skew. 
it's really loud and clicky. So my goals for this cube are to get a sub 4 signal with a sub 7 average. So I'm starting to get into skew uh, recently. And uh, I'm getting a decent amount of 3s and 4s, mostly 3s. And uh, for average, I'm getting 5s and 6s. Since 5s are pretty rare for me, I'm just going to stick with a sub 7 average for keeping at home and a sub 4 single with 4 uh, single. Finally, for Squan, I'm using the Little Magic Squan. It's a really good squad in my opinion. And my times are dropping a lot. So my goals for spawn are to get a sub, at least a sub 15 single with a sub PB average. So, um, my PB single is a 7.4, which is nearly impossible for me to get in spawn. And my PB average is a 16, so I hope to get a sub PB average in squan, and at least a sub 15 for single. If I'm lucky, then I'll probably aim for a sub uh, 13. So that is it for my mains and goals for Keep Me At Home 2020. Comment if you are going to be competing in this online competition. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.